So in this segment, we're going to be discussing Jeremy Hunt getting Uno reversed when he accuses Rachel Reeves of not uh, pledging any tax cuts if uh, Labour are elected. Uh, Rachel Reeves has not made any commitment to bring down the tax burden. And you talk about the tax burden going up. It's correct. You know, we had a once in a century pandemic. We had a, a 1970s style energy crisis. It was right to support. You also had the Liz Trust mini budget as well. Um, yeah, as well as, you know, massive, massive amounts of, of low growth and stagnation uh, fueled by a government that just didn't care for people. Let's let's be honest now. Um, you know, th this this argument he's making here is complete garbage. Um, purely because other economies, I, th I think, have recovered more or less um, post the, you know, COVID and uh, Russian invasion of Ukraine. The invasion which shouldn't have impacted us as much as it did, um, considering we don't actually trade as much with Russia compared to other countries, um, especially in Europe families and businesses with a temporary increase in taxes but the big difference between the Labour Party and the Conservative Party is the Conservative Party says we now want to do the hard work to bring taxes down again. I think the Labour Party have said they also want to bring down taxes you know it's not about you know ambition it's about actually getting it done and you know putting the country in a position where you can do that um, but you know realistically taxes should be going up on certain people especially the ones on capital gains and um also the sort of high standards but th this whole attack line makes no sense you know this is the party that taxes up on people and now they're trying to say you know we're the ones who set fire to the building sure but now we're going to put it out you know don't believe anyone else because we know that is good for growth and that will mean in the end we have more money for precious public services like the nhs for the armed forces for our schools and all the other things but, that really you know, you know but again if you wanted to actually fund these things properly you could tax your rich funds and actually pay your taxes properly i think and um you know maybe if nadim zahawi is well, another one who paid his taxes um, fairly late and paid a fine for it maybe if you guys actually sorted that kind of stuff out um the public services would be in a better place than it is now but you don't want good public services let's be honest really matter so the tax burden is at about 37 percent at the moment where would it be after another five-year conservative term well, I can't answer that question because um, that's, uh, you know, there are an awful lot of factors that could what's, influence but what, what's that. your target, but I think though? people the, could what hang do you on. expect, Chancellor, if, if, well, if Rachel target, Reeves won't my, even talk about it, would you give us a target of where you'd like to see it? Yeah, yeah I've said we want to bring down the tax burden. We want to... No, he was asked, what is your target? He goes, yeah, yeah, I want to bring down the tax burden. So he doesn't answer the question. That's one of the problems here. And the interviewer does an okay job, I think. But the point being is, how are you going to accuse Rachel Reeves of not committing to lowering the tax burden when you yourself also can't commit to lowering the tax burden? Because it depends on you know what you guys set with the fiscal rules and all of that stuff. So this whole argument is complete nonsense. Of they're trying to attack Labour like the the Tories are in opposition and the Labour Party are in power. Um, when we can see your record, mate, like you're the one who put taxes up. It's your party that's put taxes up consistently on working class people and middle earners as well. So this whole argument that they're making here makes no sense. To accuse the other party of not committing to something which you yourself cannot commit to it is just really bizarre. Bring down over time when it is affordable and responsible. We want to bring down employees' national insurance to zero. That is a... And which is going to be impossible because of how high national insurance contributions are. So this, again, like, it's just wishful thinking here. Absolutely wishful thinking, complete garbage. Um, you know, the idea that they're going to get rid of national insurance, you know, they can say we're going to commit to it and pledge to do it. They're not, there's no way the country's going to be positioned to do that. The country's barely functioning as is um, because this lot completely tanked it and won't do the good things that they need to do in order to um, actually, you know, um, actually get the economy going. Um, it's just the most ridiculous attack I think I've seen from a Tory MP of, you know, especially the Chancellor attacking the shadow chancellor of not committing to tax cuts or certain economic policy and then this person also not being able to commit to those same policies because we don't know what the economy is going to look like this is actually embarrassing ugh. Brother, ugh. that's genuinely how i feel about that that's it, it's just it's just pathetic and i think the interviewer kind of called him out on it to to a good enough extent which made hunt look stupid or more stupid than he already looked. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.